It's time for today's face-off on Fox Soul. Challengers Quan LX and Big Angry Adams ready to go blow by blow on those hot topics. Face-off on Fox Soul starts right now. In this round, here's Charles Big Angry Adams. Quanell, Mimi, and Mama up in the club. Little Meech, the Demetrius Flannery Jr., the son of story gangster Demetrius Flannery Sr., a.k.a. Big Meech. He took his grandmama and his mother out to celebrate Mother's Day, and he's getting a tremendous amount of blowback by the puritanical community and you know, the pro-Sharia community uh, for taking them to a nightclub where they're throwing dollar bills, listening to rap music, and girls were dropping it down in thongs. Now, I'm not one to judge how someone else wants to celebrate their mother and their grandmother. Uh, little Meech, uh, you know, since he was five years old, his father has been incarcerated for some high-level criminality. He was raised by these two women and raised right before he was selected by 50 Cent to star in the Star series BMF. He was a student at UNLV studying business, producing his own rap music. This is a kid that has come from the bottom and come up and grabbed life by the throat and he has taken time out of that life to celebrate his mother and his grandmother. We don't know. Maybe they wanted to go to the club. Maybe they wanted to experience a night out with their son and grandson. A lot of judgment going around. I think there are a lot of crappy sons. Uh, you know, like Sean Diddy posted something about celebrating his grandma, his mama. Maybe, maybe his mama should have done a better job than raise that pervert. But this I have no problem with. Good for you, little Meech, taking grandma and mom out. You're a good son. We have come to a time in America now to where we are now applauding young men on Mother's Day to where you celebrate and show thanks to your mother and your grandmother is by taking them to a strip club where there's nothing but decadence, immorality, sex trafficking, in some cases prostitution in these clubs, sexual exploitation and extortion in these strip clubs. But to honor mother, and to honor your grandmother, that's what you take them to do. It's obvious that this young man's father did not raise him because no father would be honored, would be proud to say my son took my mother and his mother to the strip club to celebrate Mother's Day. This is an insult. It's sad. And I would say to this young brother, Satan obviously has captured a degree of your thought process to where it's all right to do that which is an abomination unto God and to what is right. All young brothers should be appalled by this. No matter what your race is, all men should be appalled by this. And I would have to say this, grandmother, mother, what the hell are you doing? in the strip club enjoying yourself throwing and shaking money at butt naked women. Grandmama, you are not the grandmother that raised us. You are not the grandmother that brought us through slavery, brought us through Jim Crow segregation, brought us through lynchings and murders. You are not the grandmother that brought us through the crime bill and losing all these men to the penal system like your father, Lil Meech. This is an abomination and an insult to the nation, brother, and to black people. You, you are making a whole lot of assumptions. One, you're assuming that this young man didn't do anything else on a very long day to celebrate these two women. You're assuming that it wasn't their idea to tag along and experience a night out with their celebrity son and grandson. You are assuming that these women that were in the video were being coerced or trafficked or prostituted. There's no evidence of any of that. You make all of these assumptions just so you can play the old fogey with your rose-colored glasses of yesteryear 
and reach back. But of course, we remember yesteryear. There was Jim Crow, there was segregation, there was glass ceilings, there was a denial of opportunity, all of which gone away. And you seem to give his father a complete pass for his criminality while you criticize these two women who raised this man by themselves. They raised him to go to a, a, a very fine university and to walk away from that to pursue an entertainment career, that he is incredibly successful at a very young age. And it looks like you're just looking for any reason to condemn them. I didn't I'm see not anybody talking about butt-necking. what he didn't do, there Charles. Were, there were draws on those. We're women. talking about what we and witnessed Aaron, that he did on. do, well, last Charles. Thing, last thing. Let and me, this let discussion me is point. not about his father's me, criminal activity and what he was convicted for. This is about how his son chose okay. to celebrate are, his grandmother and mother on Mother's Day. And I'll tell you, let's let's take it back to Houston. You want to take it back to to hundreds of years? Let's take it back to Houston. I don't know if you never had the fettuccine of V-Live here in town before the government shut it down, but it was some top shelf fettuccine. Drake has rapped about it, Drake over Kendrick all day. Uh, the man has, uh, you know, we don't know anything about the buffet situation, we don't know any drinks, we don't know, it did not appear to be a butt naked joint despite you assuming that it was, it didn't appear to be It said strip club in the article. Okay, the strip clubs aren't butt naked. I know Grandpa, you maybe ain't your bitch. No, you're long wrong time. about that one. Some because when I was a young man, at 15 naked. and 16 years old, the strip clubs I went to as a teenager, they were all butt naked. Okay, in fact, back in the 80s, those must have been illegal clubs because butt naked well, clubs were, illegal. were not lawful. You had to have a little membership Code. Okay, anyhow, so it sounds like you were at a whorehouse and you're conflating this nightclub with some whorehouse. A strip house club the is a whorehouse. Hey, okay, first of all, don't you fool no, and deceive yourself. Okay, a strip club is not a whorehouse. true. You know, there may be prostitution, some, there most certainly isn't prostitution at all. But why are you judging this man? No, Charles. This he is what I'm doing, Charles. He was spending time with Mimi and Mama. Charles, let me and say they this. all appeared to have a good damn time. Let me make this crystal clear to you. The book of Proverbs of the Bible says this. Are there's you a no Christian or a Muslim? There's no riches go back and forth. on the earth, you, in the earth, on the heavens above, that can be compared <laughs> unto a virtuous woman. Men ought to uplift women, celebrate women, honor women, and protect okay. them. This is so not on, honoring on, your mother and your grandmother. So, so, this is disrespecting so, them, insulting you, them, you and to, to some degree an abomination. You love to cite the Bible, but you also are a Muslim. And, and I'll cite believe, the Book you, of Righteousness all day every day. You believe in polyamory? I you think cite, that's up to have book, ten wives? I will cite the Book Man, of Righteousness so in the end of the week. and full of crap. Come on. The, but the Bible has many problems with these wives, right? That's my kid, and there's the family, and, you know, so hit and runs are great. I don't mind those, you know, but you can't spend the night. A uh, hit and run? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they still happen? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and you have to give yourself permission because, you know, you have this whole line of words that are stacked up in your head about what you are if you say a hit and run is where you want to be and you don't want to be married. You know, oh, am I a whore? Am I this? Am I a terrible person? Because I don't want to be. In this round, here's Quanell X. Charles, we just watched a video clip of Miss Whoopi Goldberg sitting down with former CNN host Don Lemon on his new podcast, a new show. That ain't nobody and watching. The but sad part of what I looked at is that what I heard Sister Whoopi say, I'm saddened to hear it. I met Whoopi Goldberg. I've been on The View, and she was very polite, very nice, and concerned about the subject matter that we were discussing. But she has to understand she is an iconic figure to so many young women in this nation who wish to have the success of Whoopi Goldberg. And when you saying that it's okay to have your hit and runs. And that's acceptable, and that's okay to have your hit and runs. And she talks about still having them now. Sisters, young girls, women, your body count matters. Men, your body count matters. Take it from a man who knows. You don't want to let men, women, since we're talking about whoopee, have unfiltered, un 
earned access to you for sexual purposes. The man loves your hips. He loves your breasts. He loves your womb, but he really don't love you. And so if women are going to go with this new Hollywood pushed music industry push idea and standard of themselves that you're going to give men unearned access to you. I trust that you would know this. It's going to come back to hunt them, Charles, because any woman that allows a man to devalue her, sleep with her, have sex with her, jump down your throat all night long and between your thighs all night long and walk out the door and say, take care of yourself. I'll call you when I get horny again. That's a woman that's a fool. And so for Whoopi to say this, she must have forgot all of the young women that look up to her. You know, I, what would never happen in a million years? Would you say, hey, I want to talk about a topic and lead off on it if it was, you know, some old guy saying, man, I just hit it and quit it. I'm tired of relationships. I've been there, done that. You would be high-fiving, right? And maybe you're mad. Maybe you're mad because when you was on The View, she didn't offer you a hit and run. Maybe you're still upset. Maybe she's not into the short king. I don't know what the deal is. But here's the thing. This woman's won. She's won them all. She's got the EGOT, the, you know, the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. She's done a lot of great things. And you can hear it in her voice. She's had relationships. They've obviously failed. She has closed the ranks of her life to focus on her children, her grandchildren, and her great-grandchildren which I don't think is absolutely true, right? She's on there doing the Don Lemon show, fist bumping Donnie the hypocrite. Uh, but it is, you know, we're only talking about this because this is an aged female star, not an aged male star. And it's that hypocrisy. And no, as Charles Barkley said, you know, he, he's not there to tell people how to live, right? He's not a role model, he's a basketball player. Is she a role model because she's a, a former comedian? Because people forget, Whoopi started off as stand-up comedy and killed, transitioned in a non-traditional way to acting and killed, right? She's not what you would call a stereotypical Hollywood beauty. And she was getting lead roles as a black woman, a black woman back when black female comedic actors were absolutely not getting roles. And yeah, I mean, Halle Berry could get them, but you know, Halle Beautiful, Whoopi Not. This is a woman who has lived well, her life say, on her own when terms. When you say Whoopi Not. Well, she's not. She's not traditionally beautiful. But yet you sit there and say, I'm upset because she didn't offer me no poon tang well, pie. Clearly, there's something. There's Speak someone the alive. truth, Charles. Was it, was it? Speak the truth. Was it joy? Sister Whoopi was, was has joy. a great spirit. Was it joy? She was, was it, great to me. What was it, Joy? Was when it, I was on the show, joy Barr, but she ugly it, as hell. Okay. Whoopi is ugly but, 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 as why, hell. But my point and is, let me why tell does you that something. matter? But here's why it matters. Because she's on television. The only reason it matters, matters, the only reason matters is she got a vagina Charles, and not a penis. She's on television she penis, telling young she girls like, yeah, and young women I'm just it's quick. okay. Well, they'll be like, hi, five, No, five, you're wrong, That's Charles. not true. She's on television promoting to young girls and young women, it's okay to door dash ding a lane. And let me tell you something, man. <laughs> when you're door dashing ding a lane, you're going to turn yourself into an absolute piece of trash. No, that's Because okay. let me tell you something, Charles. It's, if it's okay that's for men, madness. it's not okay, okay Charles. for women. It's not okay. I'm going to tell you why. Because a man runs too risk. When you sleep with a lot of women like that, you wind up having children from a bunch of different women. Okay, we'll be and your children, children. grow up children. not really even knowing each other. Yeah, there ain't no more eggs Look down at there. Nick Cannon. Okay. Look at my brother Tyreek Hill. This man had four different women pregnant that gave birth to his children in the same year. That ain't a damn thing to be proud of. Right. We got to clean America up, okay, Charles. So, but, but this is, it has become a cesspool of this filth, is, this and is, nobody this cares. Is, this is the woman's fault and not Tyreek being a scumbag? No. Because Tyreek's a scumbag. I'm speaking about right? his failure Cannon, as a man. Nick Cannon his failure an as a father racist scumbag to better discipline but, himself. Uh, Nick Cannon only gets a pass because he checks the right boxes. He says the most horrifying things. He treats women horribly. 
He's a scumbag. Tyreek Hill's a scumbag, right? And yet, what you want to do? I don't do, think they're scumbags. What you, all right, of course. They're not think, scumbags. But you think Whoopi's a they whore? They might have made See, bad thank decisions. You. Thank you for making they my point. They might have made bad decisions. Thank you for making my Brother point. Brother Tyreek Hill no, might have no, made some no, bad no, decisions. No, no. But a bad decision don't make you a scumbag. I'm talking Charles. about how Tyreek Whoopi Goldberg is not a scumbag. And how Nick she just made a bad decision to speak about something in a manner forgetting that young women look up to her. Wait, wait, like three minutes ago she was a disgusting whore. Now she's I never said back. that. Oh, that's what you would oh, like me to have no, said. No, you said all kind of. See, you're sitting stuff, there lying, and you're judging. You're women. sitting there lying. Yeah, Tyreek is as a you scumbag because do. he treats women. Because the way he treats women, right? Nick Cannon is a scumbag for his disgusting bigotry and the way he treats women. I'm not talking about the children or the sex. They are awful people. But you judge they're women. Awful people. Yeah, you judge. Yeah, they both How are. is he awful? But you judge. How is Tyreek Hill awful? Hold on, but you judge. How? You, maybe you should follow the news. Let's hit that on the next story. He's not an awful you person, Charles. You judge women by a different standards you judge men. No. You talk about let me tell you what I do. This, the, let the me tell Quran you what I do. Let this. me tell you what I do. That's what you're doing. Let me doing. tell you what I do. What do you do? I do what Prophet Muhammad taught us. Okay. They went to him and they asked him, Prophet, who do we honor first in the home? He said, your mother. They said, then who? He said, your mother. The third time he said, then who? He said, your mother. And the fourth time, he said, your father. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan that a man ain't got to die to experience heaven. Heaven lies at the foot of his mother. So if you want to experience heaven as a man on earth, you can experience that through your own mother if you have a spiritual elevated understanding okay. of who your mother so, really so is. So Tyreek, Mr. Hit It and Quit It. Nick, Mr. Hit It, Hit It, Hit It, Hit It, Hit It, and repeatedly quit it. They're not bad guys, right? They made but, bad but Whoopi, choices, Whoopi, but it don't make them a scumbag. A you called them a scumbag. Uh, yeah, I disagree no, no. with that. The, the, the things they did away from that make them a scumbag, right? But <laughs> the truth is, Whoopi hasn't done all that, right? Whoopi has won all these awards. She's done a bunch of great stuff. She says, but some stuff what I Whoopi with. has done but you are is here promoted her film and promoted because, movies because that degrade she, the image of black males. <laughs> Whoopi has done that. Oh come on. In this round, here's Charles Big Angry Adams. Quanell, and yet another example of horrifyingly anti-Semitic bigotry. American comedian Jerry Seinfeld, the milk toast, clean comedian who had the the hit sitcom of the '90s, was giving the commencement address at Duke University. And as we've apparently become our new normal, is that every activity, every moment, has to be disrupted by people screaming about Gaza. So the timeline is this: October seventh. Uh, Gazans break uh, through uh, the security line, which isn't nearly as secure as the border between Egypt and Gaza, where they'll just machine gun you for trying to get there. They come through the security line and they go from village to village, killing women, men, and children, microwaving babies, raping women. Then they go to a music festival where they kill everybody they can, including machine gunning a bunch of young adults hiding in porta potties. We've seen videos of all of this. I know you pretend none of it happened because you are a massive liar. And now, immediately after, on the same day, we had all these, these, these protests against Israel that were just people celebrating the butchering of women and children and babies. And then we continue through America and the, the tidal wave of the West of all these performative idiots, right, who have no understanding of what is actually going on and no understanding of the fact that Hamas and the leadership of Gaza, who is still overwhelming and supportive, have said time and time again, we're not going to release the hostages. We're going to keep killing Jews until they're all dead. We want them all eliminated. Those are our only terms. So now every Jewish person that does anything has to worry about having their lives disrupted, has to worry about being assaulted on college campuses, and nothing's happening. So uh, this Jerry Seinfeld, who is just Jewish, he's not Israeli, he's just an American Jew, has to deal with people trying to disrupt his event to try to discourage Jews from being invited to give speeches. I know you support all this because you are probably the most revolved anti-Semite I know, but absolutely disgusting. Shame on all those scumbag kids.
I want to say to those students at Duke University who stood up and peacefully protest, you did not refuse to leave. You didn't destroy school property. You were not yelling a profane and insulting words to where you were using vulgar language. That's not true. You were not attacking police officers. You didn't try to try to storm the stage. So many of mainstream Americans, and including those in the media, have always been saying for the last several weeks, we support peaceful protests. What they did at Duke University was exercise their constitutional right to let their voices be heard, and they did it in a very peaceful way. But yet, men like you are still condemning them and calling them ugly names. I want to say to those students, continue holding your head high. They spoke the same evil things about the protests of Nelson Mandela in South Africa. They said the same things that were about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and those others who fought to bring equality for African Americans in this nation. And so when you protest, it is never popular with those who are in power. But let me say this to you right now. We cannot make our young people believe that they're evil because they're standing up calling for a ceasefire. There are many prominent Jewish voices in America, around the world, and in Israel that are also calling for a ceasefire. There are many prominent voices in Israel who are political figures who are saying that Benjamin Netanyahu's government, his cabinet is too extreme, and they've led, they've led Israel down a path she never should have went. Nobody is condemning the Israeli government for fighting and killing Hamas soldiers. What they are calling for is a ceasefire okay. that you stop killing tens of I, I thousands of women of and children and babies. Lies, but it is Hamas using, you see, the Israeli army, they stand in front of women and children to defend them. Uh, the Gazan army, which is what Hamas is, it's the army of Gaza, they use women and children as shields and hide behind them, and you support them. You talk about, oh, well, they just peacefully left. No, they disrupted the event, and they continue to disrupt it for quite a while, right? Uh, in, in, at Disney World this weekend, they, they blocked the entrances to, to families trying to take their kids to Disney World on, on, on the Mother's Day weekend. You have airports being shut down. You had a great number of graduations that were canceled. Kids that didn't get to attend their graduation because of COVID and that authoritarian nonsense now don't get to attend graduations because disruption and anti-Semitism. Jerry Seinfeld is just an American Jew. Who he's is not, not funny. Israeli. I, I get it. I get he it. Ain't funny at all. I get it. Hey, he ain't funny at all. I get it. Hey, he ain't funny It's probably white humor for us by did us. You right those, did you hear right? those? Did you hear those? You hear those jokes he made? But the whole thing is, they're only protesting him because he's a Jew, and that's anti-Semitic and it's bigotry. And that's what I love most about you is how you applaud bigotry, except. Right? You're okay with bigotry if it's directed at Christians or white people or Jewish people or Latino people or Asian people, but then you decry it when it's pointed at some black people, although you also seem to be self-loathing racist as well. And the truth is you can't speak holistically about anyone. And, and this, this widespread all across America disruption of people's lives, it's not lawful protest. It's not peaceful assembly. It's not people arguing for the end of Jim so Crow. So what they did it's not at people Duke that are was not peaceful? It is people, it is people that was celebrating murderers who potentially murder children. They're trying to call for a ceasefire to are, stop the well, murder. Why isn't there a ceasefire? To stop fire? the killing, well, man. Uh, Israel keeps and saying, let me hey, say this. just let the hostage go no, and stop. You and cannot you know trust Hamas that. Does? Hamas I don't give trust them the Hamas. Finger. Hamas. I don't oh. trust what Israel is oh, saying. Oh, you love Hamas. I don't trust the Hamas oh, the government. the cameras are on. I don't so trust the Benjamin Netanyahu's government. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? There, there's because a record. Because the Israeli government will not even allow journalists to be on the ground to record okay. and film and report what Again. is happening. So Again. obviously you're doing Again. things that you don't want what the world they to see, Charles. Is terrorists to do more terror. But Period. journalists can't be on the ground to report? Come on. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, to those young people who are protesting, continue to protest in the best of manner and continue to do what is necessary to bring attention to the suffering the killing and the tens of thousands of deaths in Palestine. Remember, when they condemn you, they condemn Jesus Christ for protesting. But look how the world uplift him today. They condemn Nelson Mandela as a terrorist, they called him and locked him up for it. Later, he was released and became president of South Africa. So remember, history will vindicate you. Just continue to stand strong. To little Meech, oh man, dear brother, 
Your grandmother is sacred. Your mother is sacred. You don't take your mother and grandmother to filthy institutions and filthy places where immorality is the norm of the day and say, I'm doing this to honor you on Mother's Day. Little Meech, if that's what your grandmother and your mother wanted to do, and they had a good time, the video suggested that they did, and you were spending time with the two women that raised you, uh, good for you. Uh, uh, you know, there are so many young men who don't honor their mothers and grandmothers by spending time with them, by doing the things that they want to do, and I got nothing but applause for you. Whoopi Goldberg, an American icon. If you're going to judge Whoopi, as my opponent did, and not judge men of her age and her status for doing the same thing, that's just pure hypocrisy, right? And we can go on and on about the ceasefire. There's only one reason there's not a ceasefire, right? It's because uh, Hamas has continually refused to release the hostages, right? Hostages that are most likely being sexually assaulted and raped, and they don't want to have that stuff come out in the press. <laughs> All right, we've got to hold the real reason there's a war accountable, and it's the terrorists. That's it for the face-off on Fox Soul. We'll catch you next time.